This is the back of your Yokogawa WT1600. Unlike the Voltec PM6000, the Shunsun, this unit are internal, so you could just hook up your current input directly into it. Or if you have a current clamp, there's already a input set up for that. This is the voltage input, and depending on what package you get, you could get a unit with three channel inputs or up to six. There's different formats on how you want to view your data on the display. Um, from there, still from the display menu, and then hit format. And you could scroll through a, a lot of different forms. You can go on uh, wave, so you can see a waveform. Hit select. Uh, this is your graph. Your waveform should be showing up right here. In order to see your data on here, you have to turn on the wave sampling on the unit. To do that, you hit the wave button, and where it says wave sampling, you turn it on. And now there's your waveform. Um, you could change your time sampling, your times per division, just like on a no scope. There's a times per division button right here. And you hit that. waveform changes. Now uh, the different items that you want to display on here that all goes through your numeric display items and from here um, it changes what your highlighted item is so I have this item highlighted I want it to be volts AC. So I hit select and it changes to volts AC and then the number two is the element that it's going off of so you can change your element on here too. And now it's reading volts AC off element one. Another menu item is range. Uh, on here you change the ranges on all your elements. So right here I'm in element one select. You can do auto scaling if you hit up all the way to where auto is highlighted. You can do the same for your current. The current settings are down here. And if, if you're using your shunts on this unit uh, for terminal for the current it should be direct should be highlighted. If you're using a current clamp of some sort where you have to use the external, uh, make sure that sense is highlighted. Your wiring menu is where the wiring button is. Uh, and from here you can select different ways to wire this unit. Uh, on the pattern you hit select and from here you can go from one phase two wire, one phase three wire, three phase three wire, or three phase four wire. Just highlight the item you need and hit select. If you want to save data on this unit, it's pretty simple. Put a disk in it. And all you have to do now is hit copy. And the little disk icon shows up on the top left corner of the display and it saves. Uh, this unit also has a built-in printer, depending on the package you get. Um, and if you want a screenshot, you could print it out. You have to hit Shift button and then the menu for your copy, and change the copy file to printer. Now, if you hit copy, it's going to print instead of putting it on the disk. And this would be the same information that's stored onto the disk. Now, to hook this unit up to the computer, uh, there's several different ways to hook it up. Um, this unit only has a GPIB port, so to 
change the settings on that or to view the settings. And this would be also if you have a different package unit. Uh, we could also supply them with Ethernet port, SCSI, or RS-232. To change your settings, you would go to Miscellaneous and Communications. Since this unit only has a GPAB connection port on it, uh, this is where you would be able to change your GPIB address. This menu may vary depending on the different communication ports on the unit. 